good. Mm -hmm. YouTube, what up, though? It's your boy DK. Welcome to the crib. I know it's been a long time coming. First video of 2023. Let's get it. And this year, man, we're going to be more consistent. We're going to be on to bigger and better things. So it's kind of hard to be consistent, y'all. I'm sorry, little story time. Kind of hard to be consistent. I work full time. I got two small children, as y'all know from the vlogs. And it's hard to fit in my passion, my YouTube passion, work and home responsibility all together. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So y'all stay with me. Stay with me. So anyway, welcome, y'all. This will be my top 10 favorite pickups of the year 2022. So... This is my favorite pickups. So if it's not in your favorite pickups, don't abuse me, y'all. Don't abuse me. These are my favorite pickups. So just uh, it's, it's from a personal point of view, my taste, what I like. So if you guys don't like it, then, you know, salute to you. Kudos to you for what, whatever you picked up in 2022 that you love. So hopefully we got a lot in common. If not, you got the comment session, man. Just be nice. Just be nice, all right? So let's get started. No further ado. So I got the top 10 pickups, and I got an honorable mention, and I may mention a couple more. It was hard to pick out the top 10 of my favorite pickups for this year. So, hey, without further ado, let's get it. Number 10, we got the Nike Air Max Penny 2 Social Status Playground, the black and, color, black and white colorway. So I couldn't pick just one. Um, these are near and dear to my heart because you guys, my, the video that I did, the early review of these, which they were a gift from social status from the Whitaker group, James Whitner, his team. Um, that's my high, my highest view video to this day, close to 4,000 views. So a um, bunch of likes on it and everything. So thank you guys for that support. Um, just run it up on the rest of them too, man. So these are near and dear to me, had these in high school. You guys, I'm not going to go through the story again. If you want to check it out and get the behind the scenes story on these particular pair, the black pair, the black colorway, then check out that video. I'll probably put the link somewhere around here. But at number 10, we got the Playgrounds, Nike Air Max 2, uh, Air Max Penny 2 social status playground. So really, really, really dope shoe. Appreciate it. They were both gifts. So thank you so much, uh, the Whitaker Group. Um, so status, everybody who participated in this beautiful gift and this beautiful shoe. So this will be number 10 for my favorite pickups. Number nine, we have the 218 Jordan 2 Lows. These babies right here, so dope, man. Um, it would have been higher. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I base my top 10 pickups, not just on sentimental value. If that was the case, it would have been a lot more shoes in here. And a lot more out so i didn't place no sentimental value i was honest with myself so out of my 10 these are number nine the 218 jordan two lows uh collab with 218 my man ro spit ro you a dope guy man thanks for all the support that you show and all the love you show on instagram bro communicating with you i'm looking forward to doing some work with you and, and, and taking care of some business with you man but this is a dope shoe man really dope shoe Glad I picked it up for the retail price. And um, number nine, y'all, represents my hometown, Detroit, where I'm at. You feel me? 313. Number eight, we got the Jordan 1 High OG Taxis. So the Taxis, dope shoe. You see I haven't worn it yet. Really dope shoe, man. Um, I think it was pretty much slept on this year. I'm a big fan of this uh, gold or yellow colorway with black and white and i love the materials man that old what they call senior citizen leather that wrinkled leather man it's real dope man it's kind of put you in the mind frame of the uh shatter backboards man where the orange is it's yellow basically for the taxis but dope shoe i think this shoe is going to be a really good shoe to hold on to so if you got these man take care of these these are dope man so um i can't wait to wear them you know, out here in Michigan, bro, the weather be the weather sucks. So I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna abuse them. I'm gonna put them to <laughs> I'm gonna put them to work the right way. So, but anyway, number eight, the Jordan One High OG Taxis. At number seven, another dope shoe that um I was anticipating. A lot of people was on the hype train, and they kind of fell off from it. But I still stuck with it, man. 
we got the Jordan 1 High OG Rebellionaires. So the Rebellionaires, dope shoe, dope story behind it. As you can see, I've worn these multiple times. I probably worn about three or four times, man. Um, I love this shoe. This shoe is dope, man. Got the red X on the back, you know, uh, all the writing over it. It's, uh, what is it? They can't stop you from wearing it. It's the whole story with the band and the Jordan. And I got a video on these too when I first got them. I got them early actually. So um, I actually paid resale, but the resale was probably like 40 bucks over retail. So I didn't pay much for them to get them early. So uh, I got them early to do a review for you guys. Check out that video. It's in my portfolio. But anyway, uh, at number seven, we got the Jordan 1 High OG Rebellionaires. Now we got at number six, we getting, we moving right along y'all. So number six, this shoe, really dope shoe. I, I feel like it was slept on, really, really slept on. I did pay resale, but I think I paid maybe 20 or $30 over resale value because it was so hard to get it for retail because I don't live in Florida. So you got the Jordan 7 trophy rooms. You got the Jordan 7 trophy room. The story behind it is nostalgia. The materials on the shoe is so dope, man. Um, even got, got MJ signature right there. We got the gold medal emblem with the ribbon that goes around their neck. And it's got the gold aglets. Comes with a couple pair of shoestrings, uh, laces, shoelaces. Got the gold aglets on the shoelaces, gold eyelets on the shoe. Um, the seven mountain peaks on the side and the midsole. Got kind of a translucent uh, blue right there, man. And it just, you know, new sheriff in town. Puts you in the mind frame of the uh, dream team. Them years, man. So, not to date myself, but that brings back to my childhood, man. I remember the dream team vividly. I remember watching those games um, when they aired on TV. Some of them came on at like 3 o'clock in the morning, bro. And I stayed up and watched some of them. So, but yeah, man. So, this is a dope shoe. Has a lot of meaning behind it. And it's pretty dope, man. I love the... I love sevens, man. I'm a fan of sevens, just not these funky colorways that they bring out. I'm not a fan of all these colorways, but I love the silhouette, the seven silhouette, like the OG, the Raptors, the Bugs Bunny, the Hair Jordans, you know, those are dope. But anyway, number six, we got the Jordan seven, new Sheriff in town trophy rooms. So number five, we got the most recent release. We got the Jordan two Chicago OGs, man. A lot of people, man, this was a Jordan 2 year, man. So while we in the mode of talking about Jordan 2s, man, it was hard not to put more Jordan 2s in this. Um, I got the Amal Manir Jordan 2s. I have both of the Union, Rattan, and uh, what is it called? Uh, Gray Fault uh, Jordan 2s. Um, but I just felt like this one surpassed them both because MJ actually put these on his feet. These are dope, man. And y'all do y'all research. Stop saying that MJ broke his foot in these. He did not break his foot in these. He had Jordan 1s on when he broke his foot, y'all. Do your research before you putting stuff out here. I don't watch a couple YouTubers do reviews on these. Oh, he didn't wear these that long because he broke his foot in those. No, he did not break his foot in these. These came out in 1987, bro. This was 87. So it, what, his third year? His third year. So he wore like random, uh, random uh, Nikes. Then he wore Jordan 1s. Then he broke his foot. Then he wore a special Jordan 1 when he came back with a special bottom, and then he wore Jordan 2s. He jumped from the free throw line originally in these. Do y'all research, bro. Stop putting out fake information for people who don't know. Like, that junk gets me aggy, man. It gets under my skin a little bit. Anyway, back to the story at hand. Shout out to my man, Sean Collard. He loved these shoes, bro. I love them, man. There's nostalgia behind it. I never had these. So I jumped on it for the retail, and I'm glad they're in my collection, man. So we got at number five, the Jordan 2 Chicago. Number four, we coming down to the nitty gritty, y'all. Number four, we got the Playoff 12s. I ain't even giving no introduction for these. These shoes are so dope. I had the 2012 rendition. Uh, my wife, that's when me and my wife first met. I had the 2012s, and we met in 12. The end of 2012, we met. I was in California, man, and I had the, I stood in line at 6 a.m. and got them at uh, Foot Locker. So that's back when they used to give out the little tickets and you stand in line and, you know, that was the old raffle system. But anyway, the Jordan 12 playoffs, man, it's an iconic shoe. He hit that shot over Byron Russell with the afterwards. So, um, man, anything MJ put on his feet 
and he did you know he always did work but anything he put on his feet to me they grill that's me because i'm a huge mj fan but to other people they consider other things grill like i said this is my favorite top 10 pickups of 2022 not yours not yours and not yours it's mine so but anyway bro number four we got the playoff 12s man now we down to the top three so before i get into the top three i want to give an honorable mention Honorable mention, it was really close to making that 10. It was on the cusp, but it didn't quite make it. So we're going to give it to the Cherry 11. Cherry 11s, man. You know, 11s, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with the silhouette. And uh, the only thing, like I said when I did the review of these, the only thing I would have did if I was in that science lab with Jordan Brand. I would have did the red translucent sole, like on the bread 11s. They would have put the red translucent sole on these. It would have made it pop. It would have made this mid sole pop because it's white. I mean, the the clear translucent is dope. It's a dope shoe like it is, but I don't know, man. I just seen it with the red translucent and it'll just be fire. So, but anyway, dope shoe. It is uh just came out December, what, 19th, somewhere in there, towards the end of December. Uh, got them for the retail, uh, got the 12s for the retail as well so um yeah man dope shoe i love it um glad i got it in the collection especially for retail so yep honorable mentions to jordan 11 cherries or varsity reds whatever you want to call them. now we down to the top three y'all so i know y'all been like man what he got i kind of spoiled it because i put a story on my instagram that kind of showed my entire pickups of 2022 with the exception of a few shoes that I traded off or that I sold. Uh, I didn't sell, I really used to get other shoes that I wanted. Um, but anyway, you know, like I had the Military Blacks, I let them go. Um, I know people are like, man, you let the Military Blacks go? Yeah, because I wanted something else. Um, I had the Kobe, my wife gonna hate that I mentioned this. I had the Kobe Swiss 16s. Um, she hate that I got rid of them, but hey, I wanted a very expensive shoe. And I used that for that value, for trade value. And it was something else that I had that I got rid of. It's, it's, I mean, it's multiple that I got rid of, but I use it for leverage, for my own pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Number three, we got the Jordan 3 Fire Reds, bro. When this shoe came out, bro, and I did not have the OG pair back in the day, so I never had these. So it's like, I had to have these. I bought these early. I got them off GOAT. I think I paid maybe 40 bucks over retail. And that was included with the uh, instant. So instant with the like next day shipping, it was only like 40 to 60 bucks over retail. So um, I had to pull the trigger, bro. It was a no brainer. Um, I did an early review. That was a good video too. That was a giveaway video. Uh, two people won, one person won $100. And babe, what the other person win? How much was it? Was it 50? 25 or 50. But anyway, back to the shoe. Dope shoe, Nike Air on the back. This is the closest rendition to the 88 model. Um, as I mentioned in the actual, you see I wore these a couple times. As I mentioned in the actual review, this shoe, MJ, and this silhouette, the three, did some work, man. I mean, what, he won Defensive Player of the Year, he won All-Star Game MVP, he led the league in scoring, led the league in steals, like he did every dunk champion, he won the, you know, everything in these boys. So, dope shoes, a lot to go along with it, and I'm looking forward to them reimagined boys in March. So number two, man, number two was a battle. It was a battle. My it was like, one. yeah. So my number two is my wife's number one, but, you know, it was a battle, and it just, it was, it was a battle. So let's just get to it, man. Number two is the Amamanir 4s, man. You know, y'all know about my ties with Amamanir, with the Whitaker Group, with James Whitner, with Mark, with Tanisha, with, you know, the Whitaker Group. I, right, hey, y'all already know the social status. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know how, you know, that's my family. So it hurt me to put y'all at number two. But I, man, I love this shoe. It's y'all seen my little. I did a little mini unboxing on my Instagram, and y'all seen I was like a little kid, man. I did pay resale for them, so I didn't get them retail. I didn't get them discounted or gifted. I did pay resale, but I had to. 
I got the Jordan 1 Amamanir, the 2, the 3s, and now I got the 4s. Only thing I'm missing is them airships, the Amamanir airships, and I will get those if I can. You know, them ones like 500, though. Damn. But, um, but anyway, yeah, man. Number two is the Amamanir 4s. Dope shoe. Dope story behind it. Um, as usual, with the Whitaker group, with James Whitner and his team, it's always... Uh, a meaning behind it. He's just not out here throwing out kicks. That's two years in a row this guy, my brother, then got basically the sneaker of the year. Them threes last year was heavy, and then you dropped the fours this year. So looking forward to this year. We got the uh, 12s, the I'm near 12s, black and white uh, silhouettes come out, colorways come out, I think, March and April, somewhere in there. So I wonder what the tail end of the year going to be. Hit them 11s on them, bro. Hit them 11s on them, James. I'm talking about... But anyway, number two, man, I'm Amanir Force. So as many as y'all, y'all probably know me. Y'all already know it's number one, which is probably number one on a lot of people's list who were able to pick these up. I picked them up for the retail. It's the iconic colorway, iconic silhouette, the story behind it. Y'all already know, bro. I had to go with number one, bro, number one. I don't have a pair of Chicago. So for me, this was significant. This was a W for me for the retail. Thank you, Flex and Foot Locker. A lot of my, my retail hits, it'd be Foot Locker, man. And look, I didn't do anything special with Flex and Foot Locker. I pay my dues, bro. Like I've, I've had my Flex account for, since they first started doing that in 19, the end of 19 with the Bread 11s. I hit on the Bread 11s. That was my first shoe on the Flex. And ever since then, I just, you know, I, I took a bunch of L's in the beginning. But now, pretty much, I hit on everything that comes through the Flex app. So, but anyway, bro, got these for the retail, the Jordan 1 Chicago colorway, Lost and Founds. It's, it's nothing to describe this shoe. This shoe is an iconic shoe, iconic colorway. I like the story behind it, the box, the presentation, the receipt, you know, Everything that they put, Jordan Brand put into this shoe was so worth it. It was worth the wait. When I first seen it, um, again, um, my man, Mr. Unloved Ones, is the one who cracked the story. But to me, Sean Collard, my brother, he's the one who I took the story from where I got the info. Because everybody, remember, everybody was saying, reimagine, reimagine. But lost and found, man. So... When I, I thought they was going to be so limited and I was scared that I was going to have to pay resale. Right now, the resale is like 500 on these, which is not a lot compared to the 2015 version. The 2015 Chicago's is like over $2,000. So uh, that happened when Last Dance, that, that just shot everything through the roof. So, but anyway, man, my number one shoe of 2022, my number one pickup, which I think is arguably the shoe of the year for many collectors. Um, it, it was definitely a battle, man. It was a battle between these two, bro. It was a battle between these two right here, bro. It was, it was a battle. So, but I had to go with the Chicago's, man. I appreciate you guys for tapping in with me. I appreciate the love. Y'all stick with me, man. I'm trying to figure this thing out still, man. I'm still relatively new to the YouTube scene. What my, my channel is what? Three years old now. Since we in a new year, it's three years old now. So I only I only been doing the YouTube thing for three years. I've been collecting for a long time, but uh, I only been doing this for three years, and I'm figuring it out how to in integrate it with my my lifestyle. Thank y'all for tapping in with me. Thank y'all for being patient. Keep coming with it, man. Keep the likes coming. Keep the commenting. Make sure you subscribe, share with a friend, man. And always remember, it's 2023 now, y'all. So we gotta be the difference. You know what I'm saying? That's my new hashtag for all my posts on Instagram. Hashtag be the difference. So be the difference, y'all. Make a difference. Make a change. Make a good change. Be the difference, man. Be the difference. And if all else fails, man, you know what? Keep making noise until somebody hear you. Because you know what? Somebody gonna hear you, bro. Keep doing your thing, man. I appreciate y'all tapping in once again. I got nothing but love and respect for everybody that has something to do with these shoes. I love y'all, man. And we'll see y'all on the next one, all right? Peace. They what? They smell good. I want to eat them.
It smell good. Hey, man, is this something wrong with me that I like this chemical smell, man? Of rubber and leather and, you know. Okay, man. Can you can you help me out? Can I get out of it? I don't want to just drop him, bro. Yeah. 